Okay, so I bought this ramp, I don't know, about three or four weeks ago. And we used it twice. And now we gotta fix it. So I guess this is my little review, you guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I appreciate you watching. Hey, got online. Hey, I needed an RC ramp, you guys. I got all these RCs. I needed an RC ramp. I got online and I think I looked at three or four different ramps. And I come across this ramp here. I'm getting ready to show you. And it seemed sturdy. You know, I did see one or two YouTube videos on it. Um, and it seemed okay, you know. And for the price, I thought it was 380 bucks, but it's actually, I got it for 270 to my door. Now that's still a lot of money for this ramp, you guys. Uh, and for 270 bucks, this ramp should be good to go. Well, it wasn't. I got online, I bought it. We got it. Um, putting it together was okay. Um, I really didn't care for a step that you had to do on it. Cause it's kind of, you had to bend the actual top to get the uh the uh curved pieces on it so you actually had to bend one piece while you were screwing other pieces into it and that's not really a good thing you guys um so i was like okay got it together it seemed fine and then and now mind you this is the type that folds you know you can fold the legs in it seemed okay we took it out it seemed a little wobbly i was thinking it was kind of moving a little bit and the biggest car that was on this ramp was an x max the biggest rc car i had i was jumping with this ramp was an x max you guys and i'm thinking okay it's it's doing okay and then after we did the the sesh jump session i've seen the legs were bowing a little bit I was like, wait a minute, something's going on. I said, maybe I don't got stuff tightened up enough or something like that. Maybe something's wrong. Something I did, right? <laughs> so, um, but I tightened everything up and, but we were done that day, you guys. So uh, the next time we took it out, mind you, we only took this ramp out twice and used it. The second time we took it out, this thing started, the legs started bending on it, you guys. And um, it, it, it's, it was terrible. I, I was pretty irritated. I contacted the, the company and I think I talked to the owner and um, he's like, oh yeah, you know, we, uh, we make a piece to correct that problem. We could just, we could sell it to you and ship it to you. It's like, okay, you're, you're charging people now to fix your problem that's that's not good that's not good business you guys it's not good business you don't have an issue with your product make a piece to correct it and then put it on your website and charge people for it for the fix that you messed up so it, it's it and i contacted him, he's like and i told him i said hey you know you're gonna get send me the part you know, I appreciate if you send me the part so I can fix this issue that you guys have with your ramp. He's like, oh yeah, just, uh, you can buy it on our website. And I was like, no, I want you to send it to me. He's like, okay, I'll send it to you, but you have to pay for shipping. Well, he ends up saying, okay, well, um, I'm gonna, you need to send me 37, 38 bucks for shipping. Well, that's the cost of the part. And I was like, forget it, I'll fix it myself. So here we go, you guys. We're gonna fix it ourselves. All right, you guys, so this is the ramp. It's the KCRC ramp that they sell out of Canada. So, as you can see, the legs are bent, you guys. This is, it's, this side's bowing like this. And then this middle one is bowing like this. If you can see, it's, it's got a pretty good bow in it. This one is kind of angling this way. So not good. And it's actually pretty flimsy too. 
this ramp, this ramp's not sturdy, you guys. It's just not, it's not sturdy. It needs more reinforcement on it. And I guess they made a part to correct that, but you shouldn't be charging people for a part to correct your mistake on this ramp, your guy on the design of this ramp. You did, that's just bad business for me, you guys. I know I'm ranting, but it's, it's just frustrating, you guys. So what I did was I made these. I fabricated these uh, these plates. They're about an eighth inch, eight, eighth inch uh, thick and uh, popped some holes in them. And there we go. I, I put a 45 degree on, on the end, on one side of them. That way the legs can still fold in. So this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna fix this ramp and try to make it a little more sturdier and to where the legs will not bow on it. Cause uh, I think if I can get it to, if I can get the legs to be more sturdier, uh, the, the ramp's not gonna rock as much either especially with these plates. And as you can see, uh, you know, you guys don't have to get real, real thick plating. This should do the trick. Um, if not, then go thicker metal. I mean, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. So you guys, unless you wanna take a half a day out of your time to fabricate parts to fix this ramp, that I recommend not to buy the ramp, you guys. <laughs> Just don't buy the ramp. Because if you, you can, and then you can buy their upgraded part, they're, they're gonna charge you the part to fix this ramp that they produce, which I don't think's very, very good. I, I don't think that's, it's not, that's not a good business, you guys, like I said before. So let's get these on and see if it makes this a little sturdier and straightens up these legs. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do this one. Um, now, I'm, I put the plates on the inside of the ramp. That's how I'm gonna do it. And like I said, I cut 45s on here because I'm actually using the existing hole in here. So I put some 45 so it, it, the, rent, the legs can still fold in. So that's what I did. And I popped, uh, I used, uh, I drilled a hole here and then I drilled uh, a hole in here. So I got three bolts running down this. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get this on and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, we got one bracket on one leg here. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's a hell of a lot sturdier, you guys. So I'm excited. It straightened up the leg. Um, now my advice to you guys, if you guys have this ramp and you do this, Make sure you have some sort of nut that has a built-in washer or you put washers on both sides of these bolts because in their kit, they did not include any washers for this and all they had was this head here, this bolt head to, to act as a washer and that's, that's too thin, you guys. They should be including washers with this hardware to where you can put a washer on both sides of this on everything or heads that are wide enough to act as a, wash, a washer and they did not do that. So make sure you guys put uh, washers on everything front and back. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the other two legs looking like this. Get these other two brackets on here and we'll see how this looks, Make, see if it straightened everything up and see if it's more sturdier. So we're gonna get back to you guys in about a second. All right, I got all three brackets on these legs. It definitely straightened up the legs, you guys. Uh, made it a lot sturdier. Um, the only th weak point on this ramp's gonna be now is the screws on top that uh, hold the uh, beams that run down the ramp itself so once those cars start hitting that's that's the give point those beams are going to start flexing like this so what i'm talking about is these right here they're going to start they're going to start flexing now 
So these screws that are holding this, these beams going all the way down, that's where the weak point's gonna be next. So just be mindful of that, you guys. I did get all three brackets on. They look good. They're nicey nice. Let's get it down on the ground and test it. All right, let's see how it looks now. Nice and straight now. A lot better than what it was. The legs are straight now. Let's see. And there is still some movement in the ramp, you guys, so just be mindful of that. So I may have to put some cross beams going across this now. If I could do it over again, I wouldn't buy this ramp, you guys, because unless they include, you know, include that part that supposedly fixed this ramp in their kit. Right now they're selling it separately, which I don't understand that. They should just go ahead and put it with the, with the ramp. That way it fixes the problem and that's it. Just be done. But they just want to, they just want to charge you another part to fix their their mess up, which is bad business. To like like I said before, I know I keep saying that you guys, but this this ramp just irritates me. I wish I never bought it. And I'm trying, you know, you guys, you guys see my channel. Whoever's been following me, I'm not the negative type. Um, like every RC car I get, I love it. I don't even care. I love all RC cars. I'm not negative to them. I'll point out weaknesses and stuff that, you know, and everything, but every RC car, every RC car has its problems. I don't care what it is. I just love RC cars, period. And I, I really don't have too much negative to say about RC cars, but when it comes to a product like this, and you have to do this much work to get it right. And the money that I spent on this thing, it, it's not worth it, you guys. It's just not worth it to me. I just wanted to get this uh, review. This is my review on the KCRC ramp. Um, we're gonna take this out like it is, and we'll see what it does. So would I recommend it? No, unless you wanna fabricate parts to fix it or go, go buy their part that they're charging you for to fix their own mess up on their ramp, so. That's it, you guys. I do not want to rant no more. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. But that's my fix for now. And we'll see how it holds up, you guys. And um, go buy you one of these ramps at your own risk. We'll see you on the next one.